All right, so today I'll be unboxing a subscription box from Your Toy Box. Now, Your Toy Box is similar to Loot Crate and Nerblock and all the others. Uh, it's different in the fact that you can actually select areas of interest. So, for example, what I did is I went through a checklist of about maybe 20, maybe 40 items, and you check off each box of, of interest. So I checked off like Transformers, Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, Masters of the Universe and so on. There's, I, I chose about maybe 10 or 15 different areas of interest. The more you choose, they say, the more chance you'll get uh, some surprises in the box. Now, everything is, you know, a surprise in the sense you don't know what you're going to get, but by checking those boxes, you do know kind of what toy lines you're going to get. So if you don't like, you know, Power Rangers, you don't check the box and therefore you don't get anything Power Rangers related. So that's one of the weaknesses of, you know, a Loot Crate or a Nerd Block is you you could get anything from any toy line. Here, at least, you can choose before, beforehand uh, what toy lines you want to get, uh, you know, random items from. So, without further ado, I got this in the mail today, and it's sealed off, so I did not open it up before. So, this will be a surprise to me as well. And I think, by based on seeing other other reviews of this particular subscription box, uh, your toy box. I think a lot of these items, if not all, are vintage, like, you know, 1990 toys and earlier. Um, so let's see what we got here, or what I got, rather. Uh, i got to open some more tape here. So you can see it's a very no-frills box. I think it's probably just one person doing this, but I like the idea behind the fact that you can choose the toy lines that you want your items to come from, rather than you know, being at the mercy of whatever Loot Crate or Nerplot decides is they're going to put in the box uh, each month. So here we go! Alright. So here's just a look at, uh, first look at stuff here. Looks like there's a lot of vintage good stuff here. Let's take a look at, get the lid to stay down. So this looks like Mr. Sinister, I believe. Yeah, X-Men. So let me go ahead and unbag this guy and we'll take a quick look at him. So here he is. No rotation at the head. Swivel at the shoulders. Just a basic articulation, it looks like. Uh, but this is a probably a vintage 1990s toy, I'm guessing. And he has a, looks like it has a an action gimmick, which I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's uh looks like there's a battery required, so maybe the battery's not working. I'm guessing that his chest probably lights up, but I'm thinking this is not working, yeah. So it probably needs to have a battery change there. But yeah. That's vintage for you. Um so Mr. Sinister. Oh well this this I'm not happy to get. Jar Jar Banks. Oh, I got burned in that one. I did want Star Wars figures, but I didn't want Jar Jar Banks. Oh. Wee wee, something or other. Uh, I don't really like that character at all, or this character. Yeah, so you can articulation here. Ah, this might might be a good prop for, you know, how Shardimus Prime has the big time letdown Spider-Man. This may be the kind of a a big time letdown figure to compare things with. So I might hold on to him. I'm tempted to you know burn him in acid or put him in the microwave or something. But uh, I think I'll save him for something. Uh, like Shadowmus Prime's uh, Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. All right, so ooh, oh, this is cool. This looks like a vintage Hot Wheels ambulance. Let's see if we got a date on here. 1997. And it's sealed. Oh yeah. So it's an ambulance. I might, I might keep it in a bag. I guess I don't know. As you can see, looks like it's not really a diecast metal. Although the bottom might be, huh? Oh yeah, ambulance. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's it's a Hot Wheels. That's I mean, Hot It's a McDonald's toy. That's pretty cool. I do like that. Neat. Oh, Care Bear. I'm guessing Sunshine Bear. PVC. I have to admit, I like Care Bears. So Care Bears, I I watched as a kid, and I, I don't like Care Bears. I have to admit, I, you know, they 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 have bronies, you know, for My Little Pony. Uh, I I'm kind of the same way with uh, Care Bears. Yeah, I think he's Sunshine Bear. I don't know. I, I he's. I have to admit that's pretty cool. I know. What can I say? Hot Wheels Chevy Lumina. And what's the date on this? 1991. Right there. 
blast from the past. And, huh, oops, something fell out here. Hold on. Looks like a minifig. Some type of clone trooper. Yep. That's pretty cool. And a on-card Star Trek The Next Generation, Captain Montgomery Scott. Even the, you can see the bubble, this is authentic, the bubble is yellowed. That's nice. <laughs> it's nice because I know it's vintage, that's cool. 1993. Uh, you can take a look at some of the figures in the tie line here. But yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. So that's going to stay on card, I think. And finally, two comic books. Oh. I might have to change that for next time because I, I did I did say I want to have I did say I wanted to have comic books included in my uh, subscription box, but uh, got Robin and Dark Water, the Pirates of Dark Water. Huh. Well, I know this is vintage for sure. Was that early '90s? I think that was on a cartoon. I remember watching. And uh, Robin. So I have no idea what this what vintage this is. Although does it have a date. Here without taking it off. I don't think I can see a date. Anyways, two uh, comics with the, the back words included. I have to say, I expected a little bit more included in this box. This box is $25 uh, shipped. So it's a little, you know, it's $5 more than Loot Crate or Nerdblock, for example. Um, so yeah, I was expecting a little bit more from my. Uh, in terms of just the amount of stuff I got, because I, I was watching the review spot, and that's how I came upon finding out about your toy box, and he got a whole bunch of stuff, but maybe it's the fact that I got comic books in place of figures, I guess, but I don't know, I expected to get a little more than this. What I got, I'm pretty happy with, actually, uh, but I just, I just expected a little bit more, so... Eh, I'll, I'll stick with it for a couple more months and see how it goes. Um, but uh, in terms of just the vintage stuff, I love it. I mean... Um, I, I like vintage stuff. It reminds me of, you know, back when I was a kid. It reminds me of those days, or even back when I was younger. So, good to have vintage stuff. Um, I'm just thinking, I wish the store could have been more. And there's not really any levels of, of, uh, of boxes you can choose from. It's just one box for $25. Um, I, I, I swear, in the Review Spots uh, unboxing that he did uh, just recently, he got a lot more figures. But again, I know there was something, there may have been... Uh, the fact that I got comics may have took the place of some of the more, more figures I could have gotten. I don't know. Uh, like I said, pretty cool for the uh, vintage aspect of it. And the fact that you could choose what, you, what lot toy lines you could possibly get uh, in your in your uh, box. Uh, but just kind of perplexed about the amount of figures, or lack thereof, uh, in this box. So, like I said, I'll stick with it for a couple more uh, months and see how it goes. If it gets better, then uh, I'll stick around. But if it doesn't, then, you know... I'll try something else. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been an unboxing of the Your Toy Box subscription service box. And I will include a link down in the description for that in case you are interested.